Today we will discuss the serial communication protocol of the embedded system UART, SVI, and I2C. So, we have only discussed the I2C protocol here. So, let's move towards what I2C stands for. I2C stands for Inter Integrated Circuits. It's also called the TWI, which means two wire interface. So, it requires only two wires. I2C is a half duplex serial communication protocol. What does it mean by half duplex serial communication? Half duplex means when two devices sending the data, so at the same time the two devices cannot send the data to each other when one device is sending the data, the other will receive the data. It is synchronous communication protocol, means required network signal to synchronize the data between source and destination. What does it mean by synchronous communication? It means that it will require the clock signal to synchronize the data between the source and the destination. So, I2C required only two wires to establish the communication. How many wires I2C protocols require? Only two wires. The first one is data line to receive and transmit the data, and the other is the clock line to synchronize the data so one is the SDA and one is the SCA I will show you in the next slide here it is as we talk about it that uh, I2C requires two wires to establish the communication one is SDA and one is SCA what's, what's SDA stands for serial data line and SCL stands for serial clock line so and the master it is that it required only two wires to establish the serial communication between the master and the slab. So it is I to see protocol. Uh, we before studying it, we have to move another slide. So we can connect the multiple slab to only one master and we have we can connect multiple master to multiple slab. We can connect multiple slabs to only one master as you can see here at one master and three slabs are connected to it one is the adc slab one is the vsc and one is the microcontroller slab these are connected to the master through i2c bus in which one is the sga line and other is the sc line that is the vdd which supplies the voltage to these master and slabs it has the follow up resistor you can see it here so bus has two nodes, master node that generate the clock signal and initiate the communication and the master node initiate the communication and generate the clock signal. The other one is the slab, slab on the node that receive the clock and respond. So let's move towards the frame structure of the I2C. Here is the frame structure. I2C network begins with the start and ends with the stop bit. So identify each node. To identify each node. I to in a network I to C use device or network addressing mechanism in which each connected node has predefined address of seven or ten bit. What does it mean? That F the address is seven bit. It means that it can be connected to the 128 devices and if the device address is 10 bit so it means that it should be connected to 1024 bits 2 power 10 devices here it is r and w what does it mean r read and write there is acknowledgement that is the data that you want to send it there is acknowledgement and, and last we have the stored bit 
So by using the acknowledgement, the error probability is very low in I2C protocol. Now we will discuss the advantages of the I2C protocols. What are the advantages of I2C protocol? It has multiple monster and multiple steps, as I show you above. Here it is. We can connect multiple steps and multiple monster. I have only connected one here, so you can connect multiple monster and multiple slab at a time. The second one is the better error handling as it has an acknowledgement so as you can see it here so the error probability is very low we can handle the error very easily it can work with both fast and low ICs and the last one is the less number of pins because it has used only two highs for communication so reduce the number of pins Disadvantages. Oh, the first disadvantage is, is that it's half complex serial communication. And the second one is the complexity of the hardware increase with number of master and slab devices added. As we increase the master and slab devices, so the complexity will be increased. So that's all. Thanks for watching. If you have any question. Thank you.